high knees is a form exercise that primarily develops strength and endurance of the hip flexors, the muscles that lift the knees and prevent plodding in the running stride. High knees can also develop strength and endurance of the quads, and the exercise stretches the hip extensors, which include the gluteal muscles. These benefits lead to a longer stride and faster, more efficient running. High knees are ideal either before or after the main workout, or as part of a series of form drills repeated several times as the main workout. Because high knees demands a lot of coordination, we recommend teaching it in four phases. In phase one, only the legs move. Keeping the arms at the sides, slowly lift the knees so the thighs are parallel to the ground. Phase two adds arm swing while maintaining the slow pace. In phase three, the pace picks up. The objective here is to lift the knees as quickly as possible while maintaining good overall form. Remember, faster isn't better when form suffers, so slow down or return to phase two as needed to reinforce the ideal technique. Then, for phase four, do high knees down a straightaway. The objective in phase four is to lift the knees up and down rapidly, not to cover the distance the fastest. Once your athletes have mastered phase four, that's the only phase they'll need to do. Here are five pointers to share with your team. Always take off and land on the balls of the feet. Bring the thighs as close to parallel with the ground as possible. Avoid raising them beyond parallel, as this will throw off the body's alignment. Look straight ahead while maintaining a tall, stable posture. The idea is to avoid leaning back, rocking from side to side, or any other unstable or counterproductive movements. The arm should swing from the shoulders and move in sync with the opposite leg. The angle of the elbows should range from 70 to 120 degrees with the hands passing the body near the hips. There shouldn't be any side-to-side -side arm movement. And finally, for phase four, remember to stress quick turnover and doing lots of knee lifts rather than racing down the straightaway. For phase four, have beginners start with two to three reps of high knees over 10 to 20 meters and build towards three to five reps of 30 meters. In place, marching. Making sure you're pulling your feet up as high as they can go. Just like that, good. Kind of a fun sound. Okay, the thing to remember when you're, um, when you're doing the high knees in place, you're not leaning back. Because again, sometimes in order to get your legs to come up higher, you want to lean back this way, and that's not what we're looking for, okay? Good, just like that. Arms are going a little higher. Marcus, back a little Don't bit. Don't go Stay ahead. With me. Good. I feel a leash a little slow. Good. Nice, steady, straight line. Higher, higher. Don't lean back. Good. Nice job. There are several good features of high knees form demonstrated by these middle schoolers. For the most part, they're maintaining upright posture and staying on the balls of their feet. That said, this is a hard drill. So giving runners encouragement and allowing them a little time to figure things out on their own is important. It's also a good idea to focus on one area of improvement at a time. The main area for improvement here is the knee lift. With practice, these athletes will gain the strength and coordination to lift their knees higher. A helpful correction is to eliminate the backward kicking motion that some of these athletes are doing. 